Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today, we are going to study capacity using standard units. We have this first glass, then I take another glass, I take one more glass and then I have a bottle of juice. Now, what I start doing is, I think first, which glass will hold more quantity of juice? How do I understand this? How do I measure the quantity which each glass can hold? So, what I do is, I first take the glass number 1 and then I empty the entire bottle in the glass like this. Now, I see that one bottle of juice has completely filled this glass, right? So, this glass holds one bottle of juice. So, now I take the second glass. I take the same bottle again filled with juice and I empty it in this second glass. But I see that the second glass is not yet full. It is only half filled. So, I take one more exactly same size bottle and then I again empty it in this glass. Now, my glass is full and this time it required two bottles of juice to fill the glass. Let's take the third glass. Again, I take the bottle of juice and empty it in the glass. Let us see how much it gets filled. Oh, this time it filled less than half of the glass. Okay, let us take the another bottle, exactly same bottle filled with juice. I again empty it in the glass. Still the glass is not yet full. Let us take one more bottle of the same size and empty it in the glass. Did the glass become full now? Yes, but this time it required three bottles to fill the glass. What do we understand from this? I understand that glass three requires three bottles to fill it completely, which means, can I say glass three holds more quantity of juice, correct? Because glass one holds just one bottle, Glass 2 can hold 2 bottles of juice, but glass 3 holds 3 bottles of juice, which means it holds more quantity of juice. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.